Hello, welcome back again to our tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to create steel connections in techno metal and we'll get started right away. Now, this is the window of our AutoCAD with techno metal embedded on this on its platform. Now, we have three windows with three tabs here for techno metal. As I told you previously on, on our previous tutorial on techno metal, we have techno metal structural analysis, we have techno metal uh, 3D modeling, and uh, we have techno metal 2D uh, drafting with all the tools available. Now, today I'm going to show you how quickly you can create connections for mezzanine floor, for, for base plates, for rafters. And also we'll move step by step till uh, you get the concept uh, correctly and proper now once I click on the macro here you'll be able to see we have the variety of tools we have the trusses we have the project drawings we have the staircase and handrails we have the frameworks we have the towers lattice all this will go through this and we'll, we'll be creating a project based tutorials now um, I'm going to click macro once again and we'll go straight to to we'll not go to macro for the, for the time being because i want to show you some some various types of connection you can create automatically in tech in techno metal or, or using uh, techno metal tools uh, with autocad tools all together working and doing the same thing now i'll come to structures and click on structures there so uh, under this structures uh, 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 tool i'll come to profile in here inside profile i want to create a steel component or a steel member so i'll click on that profile and this will bring this window of techno metal and inside here i'll be able to select on which uh, uh, steel profile I, uh, do i want to use so if we have two options here of placing your steel member far top on the on the flange and right at the middle of the web and far, uh, far bottom of the web it's it's optional and you pick whichever suits your preference now we want to pick or select a different steel profile so this db here you're seeing here this is the a database where you can get all the steel profiles this is the catalog uh, similar to that of tecla structures now we have a database here labeled or abbreviated as a db so i'll go ahead and click a db or database so this will take you to a huge list of uh, steel profiles now we uh, let first of all scroll down and see what type of steel profile do we have or how many are they or uh, does this still fall within your preferred standards now let's first of all scroll down and we have z we have special too we have all all types of steels covering all the standards now let's first of all check the h here because basically is what you're going to use now under h uh, i'll scroll down and you can be able to see everything inside here i'll just scroll down the moment you see this scroll bar is very small means it's a huge list now i'll scroll down and still moving downward and still moving downward it's covering most of the uh, steel profiles from all the standards now we have the h H beams there we have the HD there we are still we are still scrolling down we have the H H E there we have the H E A there we have the H E B there we have, we have the H E M there scrolling down still we have variety of steel catalog here this is a huge database we have the IP uh, steel steel uh, steel profiles here we have everything we have universal beams here everything we have universal columns here we have all the steels that all that also that are not available in steel catalog and uh, tecla structures now let me just zoom uh, scroll down see till you see the bottom end we have the 
the W is normally applicable for these normally the US standards now just scroll down you'll be able to see everything you can apply or on your work now let's scroll up and uh, stop somewhere here and scroll slightly up because I want to use the HEA 450 so I, the, the, the moment you pick on the the preferred steel profile like in this case I'm, 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 I'm snapping or I'm selecting the HEA 400 so the, the moment you select on it just double click to take it to this database here you can be able to see or you can change it you might think that uh, it was there before by default we can pick this and you'll be able to see it's being taken here so let's first of all pick our, pref uh, our previous uh, choice of he he here by by going back and selecting on, on selecting on it so i'll go back and select on the uh, on the he 450 double click on it and it will be brought back here so i want to pick it or uh, take it to my window here or my working area so i'll pick this so once you you've selected on the steel profile or the steel member here at the bottom end in autocad here you'll be able to get instruction completely well that uh, insert or select the insertion point now i'll select on that point and stretch all the way or you can feed a particular dimension or a preferred dimension so I'm in the, at the moment i just uh, using a random measurement so i'll terminate my length right there by by left clicking to terminate that command though the uh, my cursor is still uh, active so i can still go ahead and create and create another steel member right there so we can to terminate that command you right click and uh, that command gets terminated so i'll delete the first one right here so if i bring it close you'll be able to see uh, the full length of this profile has been in has been included and the profile name of this uh, still has been labeled just adjacent or beside our steel profile now we want to create a connection here normally applicable on mezzanine floor connections and uh, let's just let me just should take you to that process and see you uh, show you how that it's very easy and quickly done and uh, techno metal uh, uh, under techno metal area with uh, with AutoCAD platform inside AutoCAD platform. Now, I'll come back to I'll come to parametric here. Under still uh, under structures, you come to parametric here. Come come to parametric. Initially, we were at profile or plates, so we'll come to connections here. I'll select on connection right there. So this will pull in or brings bring to us this dialog box. So this dialog box has variety of options of, of of connections. So I'll be able to just click inside here and 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 be able to pick or set this connection to my preferred choice of connection. Now I have all this we, I think if you are if you're a steel detailer or uh, or a designer or a beam expert this should be self-explanatory now we have all these labels here and we have uh, and all f uh, and all these fields we, you'll be able to feed will you'll be able to decode or interpret whatever is, is required here and now we have the p1 we have the p1 which is this profile here and we have the haunch here and the plate at the far end and you can see uh, the side view of this plate and the connection on uh, a connection how the haunch haunch and uh, the main component is connected to this plate now assume we are working with the default settings and i'll go ahead and click on ok button to accept the settings now i want to place my connection here so first of all let first of all press escape and right click and come to and come back to connection right there remember if you right click you repeat the the immediate command the the, the command you used just uh just a while ago will be repeated now we have options here if you take a look on this 
profile we have the left we want to play want to place a connection on the, on the left and a connection on the right so we have the options here we have the left hand left side and we have the right uh, the right side so we want to place a, this connection here and here so i'll select on the left and click ok now i'll snap right on the top end here and click ok and you will be able to see this connection coming up automatically and in here you can go ahead and add more connections or add more uh, or more uh, dimensions now i'll right click once again and repeat the same command and this time around i'm going to switch to my right side and click ok and uh, and click ok once I've, I've, I was ch I've switched to my right now i'll terminate it or select this end here and i'll be able to place my connection right here so in here i'll be able to add more dimensions and i'll come straight to or uh, 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 annotate here and click on uh, dimension linear so i want to dimension this maybe from there to there right click and come to that spot and move all the way to to this spot and move back and terminate it right there because you want this to appear in the, in the same line right click and come back to linear and we want to place defy place that dimension right there so you can see that then right click and uh, uh, come back to linear and uh, put in that total uh, length with both with both plates in included and take it up slightly right there right click once again and add more dimensions and uh, this one will be from this spot and terminates right here and you can add that remember it's one to one scale it is one to one scale and this is real time now i'll come back again to dimensions and i want to add another dimension right there but that would be necessary because once you've you found you've done this the rest will be cal the rest will be easily calculated now we have the balls well arranged and you can add your own dimensions or you can add or you can add more details i'll come to 2d here and i want to add some markings here so i'll come to marking right there so once i've picked on the marking i'll uh, i'll click locate marking select on the locate marking so i'll come here and select on this member it's not uh, placing the marking i'll uh, go ahead and click sub assembly and click ok now i'll select on this member and zoom out and click on that spot and terminate it right there and you'll be able to it will be red and be it will, it will be indicated that uh, a single part quantity is one so i'll come back again and try and uh, and uh, add more marking i'll click compose and click ok and try to add another marking right there so i'll go ahead and click ok then stretch all the way to that spot and you'll be able to see it's marked m the the markings are s somehow different now it, this depends on how you want your markings to be done so we'll delete this right click and come to er uh, erase right the erase right there so if you want to use a profile as marking you can also just apply that click on that and click ok and be able to define where to place your marking right there and that is how it's done you can place it either somewhere here click ok and snap on that spot and move all the way to that spot and make sure you your, your line is auto mode now you can see that it's m14 and remember all this depends on how you want your your markings to be done so so this these are all the details coming from the marking so i'll delete this or i can just leave it at that spot and this is how it's done now let's go to base plates let's first of all delete that because it doesn't look professionally done now i'll come back to base plate let me first of all minimize this let me minimize that and i'll come to base plate right here I'll click on profile here and we want to place a base plate now 
I'll click, I'll define a column here by clicking on that spot. This will be our column right here. So I want to place a base plate here automatically instead of doing uh, the manual work on plain AutoCAD by, by doing everything from scratch. Now, I want to place my base plate here once I've made my, 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 def my, my, def my settings as a default, as you can see here. I'll go ahead and click OK and my the column is HEA450 and here is that. You can also change the column size to to a, pro, a profile of your choice we have the catalog ready there so i'll go, just go ahead and click ok and uh, at the bottom end here you'll be you'll be shown to or you'll be shown or being being requested to pick the insertion point so i'll snap on that spot and direct my cursor upward and terminate it anywhere above this and click it right there and you'll, you'll be able to see that I have my 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 gusset plates and the base plates uh, in place automati automatically done so you can either select everything here right click and come to copy and copy it at any particular place you want it to be on right click and terminate to that command so th this is how it's created let me first of all delete that and I'll erase that and bring this close Remember this just how to show you how to create more connection and more connections using this particular tool or using techno metal uh, and uh, uh, 2D 2D uh, dr uh, drawing detailing or creation. So let me just place it right here. So this is how it looks and this is how it is interesting to use this particular uh, tool. So thanks a lot for watching this uh, tutorial and if you're new to this channel and this might be your first video to bump into, don't forget to subscribe to this channel Amores Dimba and stay safe, stay home, avoid, uh, avoid contact, self distance, corona is real and it's deadly, please be safe. Bye bye, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and bye.